Welcome back to Bobblehead George. Today, with the help of periodic presidents, we're going to be taking a look at POTUS number 5, James Monroe. All good things must come to an end. And for our first generation of presidents, the founders, the end of the line was James Monroe. Monroe was part of the Virginia dynasty, which included George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and James Madison. Because he was the last of his generation, James Monroe is sometimes referred to as the last cocked hat. Let's take a closer look at James Monroe's presidential cell. Monroe's cell is colored purple, indicating that he was a member of the Democratic Republicans. The number five in the top center of the cell indicates that Monroe was the fifth president. The number two on the top right of the cell indicates that James Monroe was elected twice to the presidency. Monroe's cell also displays the year that he served as president from 1817 to 1825. By the time the eighth presidential election rolled around in 1816, the Federalist Party all but disappeared. The remaining members endorsed Rufus King of New York. Monroe, being a framer of the Constitution and a veteran of the Revolutionary War, was easily elected. For the 1820 presidential election, James Monroe ran unopposed. It would have been a unanimous victory, the first and only since Washington's, but one elector cast her vote for John Quincy Adams. Some say he wanted to keep Washington as the only person to be unanimously elected. Others say he just didn't like James Monroe. Monroe's presidency is probably best known for something called the Monroe Doctrine, which was a policy that opposed European intervention in the Americas. Monroe was also president during an era in American history referred to as the Era of Good Feelings. Although the Democratic Republican Party dominated politics following the War of 1812, there was still a lot of internal strife and tension. President Monroe passed away at the age of 73 on July 4, 1831 in New York. Monroe was the third of the first generation of presidents to pass away on Independence Day, the others being Adams and Jefferson. If you want to learn more about presidents, presidential elections, the Constitution, and so much more, check out Periodic Presidents at PeriodicPresidents.com. To make sure you don't miss out on more original history content, click up here. To see the previous president, click down here. We'll see you next time.